Are you learning programming or preparing for a technical interview? Measure your progress by solving these tricky programming questions. Give it a try. Let us see whether you can really solve it. Rules are really simple. You get only 2 minutes to solve the problem. You can skip to 3rd minute in this video to find the answer. If you get a right answer, then give this video a thumbs up. If you don't, challenge your friends by sharing this video with them. Most importantly, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notification when we upload the next coding challenge or an informative video. So here we go, do your best. I will see you in the third minute with the right answer. Time's up. Here is the answer. We are given this code snippet. So we have a static integer i. So we know that for static variables values are initialized to 0 hence i is equal to 0. Then we have a for loop where I am writing first statement as plus plus i. So i will be incremented to 1. Then we have another condition plus plus i. So I will become 2 over here. Now condition that will be checked here is the incremented value of i that is 2. So 2 is a non-zero number hence condition is true. So inside of for loop we are just going to print value of i. So current value after these two increments it is 2 and condition as if i is equal to 0 to 4 then break. So this break will be executed only value of i will become 4. So before next iteration value of i will be incremented so it will become 3 and again the condition will be checked. So because we have plus plus i here so incremented value of i that will be 4 will be checked. Now 4 is a non-zero number again the condition is true. i has become 4 here before checking the condition. So after that value of i will be printed over here so 4 will be printed and because now this condition will be true i is equal to equal to 4 is true so this break will be executed and this for loop will be terminated and that will end your program so output of this code snippet is 2 space 4 i hope you really enjoyed the question we have many such programming technical questions with detailed explanation in video format which are packed into a single courseware at codeguard.com. Link is in the description and you can also click on the i icon to find out the link. 
do check it out it's really useful you can binge watch all such technical interview questions by clicking on the left playlist or if you want to learn basics of computer programming then click list on the right give this video a thumbs up so that we and your friends will get to know that you got the right answer don't forget to post your comments thank you so much for watching see you in the next coding challenge